Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Sarah, otherwise known as Sarah Says Hi here on YouTube. And today we are doing a taste test on four flavors of Rebel ice cream. So if you're curious to find out what flavors I chose and my opinions on them, then stay tuned. Welcome back. So as you can see back there, there, I picked up four cartons of Rebel ice cream. So I decided to choose um, the four flavors that I felt were like right up my alley because there was vanilla and there was strawberry. I don't think they had a plain chocolate one. So um, I just decided to bypass the plain flavors and got the ones that I thought sounded more exciting. Um, they did cost me about $5.59 for a pint of it. Um, I end up finding it at my local Save Mart. As far as I know, Save Mart is the only place to carry them in my area. Um, you can order it online, I believe, and then they send it like in a dry ice package and all of that. But um, I imagine that's way more expensive with shipping, so I decided just to go down to Save Mart. What we got here is, this one is peanut butter fudge. And um, they all have different amounts of carbs, nutrition facts, they're all different for every single one. Um, so let's see what this one is. And I've been letting them thaw out for 10 minutes. It says let them thaw out for 15 minutes before you enjoy, but I think 10 minutes is probably okay. So this is for a half a cup serving. So it's 210 calories, 20 grams of fat, um, 12 carbohydrates, three grams of dietary fiber, seven sugar alcohols, and three grams of protein. So again, this is for the peanut butter fudge one. Um, I also picked up butter pecan. This is also for half a cup, 170 calories, 17 grams of fat, 10 grams of carbs, two dietary fiber. This one does not have um, sugar alcohols in it. It has erythritol. It has um, six grams of erythritol and two grams of protein. I'm not sure why that one says, why this one says sugar alcohols, the peanut butter fudge, um, and then butter pecan is using erythritol, I don't know. Then we got mint chip, and mint chip is like my ultimate favorite ice cream, so make sure that you subscribe if you're not yet subscribed because I will be doing a comparison of this mint chip with another um, keto friendly ice cream that is also mint chip flavored. So keep an eye out for that one. That one will actually have the blood sugar readings um, of this one here and the other brand. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that one. So this one is also half a cup and it's 150 calories, 15 grams of fat, 12 carbohydrates, three dietary fiber, um, this one has eight grams of erythritol. I'm not sure why the different flavors have different amounts of erythritol or no erythritol and they're using sugar alcohols. I don't know. Um, and two grams of protein. And then last we have cookie dough. So cookie dough is also for half a cup, um, 170 calories, 16 grams of fat, 14 carbohydrates, three dietary fiber, no erythritol, this one has the sugar alcohol and that is 10 grams and then three grams of protein. So you're looking at the peanut butter fudge and the cookie dough. These ones are higher in carbs, net carbs. We have seven here and we have eight, but these ones are not using erythritol. This one is using sugar alcohols. The butter pecan and the um, mint and chip has erythritol. So also you'll notice here, this one says five grams of net carbs. This one says four grams of net carbs. And just to see what it is, what is the sugar um, that they're using? This one is using erythritol too. I don't, I don't understand that. Why it's not listing erythritol um, under the sugar content, but it's listing it in the ingredients. So this one does say that it's using cream, water, peanut butter, which is peanuts, peanut oil, and salt erythritol, fudge, the fudge is made of coconut oil, cocoa, and erythritol, sunflower lecithin, I never know how to say that, um, salt, dutched cocoa, natural vanilla flavor, monk fruit, oh, there we go, because it's using monk fruit, 
um, chicory root fiber. I really don't know what that is. I know that I've seen it, I think in Quest bars as well. Egg yolks, milk, protein isolate, vegetable glycerin, salt, Peruvian carob gum, guar gum, and more monk fruit. So, um, but the monk fruit is more towards the end of the ingredient list. So it's not using a large amount of it. Let's see, mint chip. Okay, I don't understand this at all. I really don't because <laughs> the mint chip one um, has no sugar alcohols listed, but it has erythritol, right? Well, in the ingredients, it's also listing erythritol at the beginning and it also has monk fruit. So I don't know what the heck the sugar alcohols are. I really don't. So it is now time to dive into these ice creams. My favorite part probably of this entire review. What one should I start with first? Any, mini, mighty mo. We're gonna start with peanut butter fudge. I'm going to open it and show you guys exactly how full it is and all that good stuff. So this is um, one pint and there are supposed to be four servings in this. So that is what, two cups worth? Because half a cup is a serving. So you can see me open it. Okay, here we go. Sorry, neighbor's dog is like barking like crazy. Yummy things come to those that wait and it's telling you to thaw it out for 15 minutes. Um, it's probably been 15 minutes now after I set up camera and everything. Okay. As you can see it's very full, filled to the top. It is still kind of hard, even though it's been there for a while. Okay, let me put the camera up. It smells really good, guys. Here we go. Mmm, this is good. This one is good. There's not like a lot of big pieces of chocolate in there. There we go. Um, let me get another bite here. So the tiny little chocolate chip flakes, kind of like what you would see in a mint and chip ice cream. Can't really see, there we go. Um, so it's like little flakes in there. They're not like chocolate chips. And you can taste a little bit of the erythritol in the chocolate, but it's okay. One more bite for good measure. I'm gonna give this a four out of five. I think it's good. I mean, it definitely is gonna be a good runner up against the regular versions. You know, if you went and bought Dryer's brand or whatever, um, you know, it's a good it's a good runner up. It's definitely better for you because it's keto friendly and has, I think this one has the sugar alcohols. Um, so it'd be interesting to find out if it's going to spike your blood sugar, but I'm not testing that today, guys. Not testing that today. Be sure to check out my other video that's coming up with the mint chip one. Let's go with butter pecan next. Here we go, butter pecan. Again, nice and full to the top there. Oh my gosh, you can already see the little pecan pieces in there, yum. Okay, here we go, butter pecan. A little bit softer than the other one was. Come on camera, there we go, here we go. Okay, so I definitely got a mouthful of pecans. I mean, you can definitely taste pecans. Not really getting like the little candy pieces that you would expect in there. Not really getting that flavor. And the vanilla is, you know, vanilla. It's not very exciting. Let me try one more bite. Mm. This one is not really exciting me. <laughs> um, definitely, I would pick the peanut butter fudge over this one. I would probably give this a two out of five on flavor. It's just not that impressive to me. Next, we're going to do the cookie dough one. And I just noticed that the jerks there at the store sliced the top of the lid with a box cutter. So I hope it didn't get through to the seal or I'm gonna be pissed. 
Okay, here we go. No. Whew. Looks like they didn't get, get it with the box cutter. So good. We're good. Okay, it looks very similar to the butter pecan. Um, only less little chunks and pieces in there so far. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're gonna start with that one. There is a big piece of chocolate right there. So we're gonna go with that. And this one is the cookie dough, right? Just plain cookie dough? Yeah, plain cookie dough. Um, okay, so that chocolate piece, it's pretty good chocolate taste. Um, you can taste a little bit of the erythritol. Um, same kind of boring vanilla flavor, obviously. I'm gonna do one more bite just to be fair. We need another bite here. I'm trying to see if where's the cookie. Oh wait, I think there's a cookie dough piece. Oh yeah. Right here is the cookie dough piece. There, it's right here. I can even, ooh, hold it. There's the cookie dough piece. Mm. See, now that was good. That's a good bite. So I give the cookie dough one, mm, it's definitely higher than the butter pecan one. Um, not as good as that, the chocolate peanut butter one. Peanut butter, what was it? Peanut butter, chocolate peanut butter? Peanut butter fudge. Yeah, so, um, not quite tied with the peanut butter fudge, so I guess I would have to give this a three out of five. Um, definitely more enjoyable than the butter pecan. And now the moment I've been waiting for, this bad boy. Mint and chip, mint chip, anything is my jam. I just love mint chip. I love um, Junior Mints, I love Andes, I love anything that combines chocolate and mint. It's just my jam. Um, I like peppermint mochas, all that kind of stuff. I just like the combination of chocolate and mint. So we'll see how this is. Okay, so it's not green. <laughs> it's definitely just like a white vanilla looking base. Um, you know, not like the green dyed ones that you would see. Mm, I can smell, I can really smell the mint. Ooh, it's heaven. Mm. Okay, here we go. Oh, dang, I keep getting these really big pieces. Okay, so the chip flakes are very similar than what we just saw in the cookie dough one. Um, also in that, I think it was a butter pecan one. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Winner, winner. This one is definitely a five winner. Okay, so top winners, definitely the mint and chip. Four grams of net carbs. Again, I don't count net carbs. Um, this one was 12 carbohydrates if you're not counting net carbs. Second runner up would be this one, peanut butter fudge. I keep saying it wrong. Peanut butter fudge would be next runner up. I give this one a four out of five. It does have more carbohydrates. Here you're seeing eight. Um, net carbs and this one. Oh, actually, no, this was the same. Yeah, these ones both have 12 grams of total carbs. Um, I'm not sure why there's a bigger increase here as far as net carbs, but I don't count net carbs, so I don't care. So yeah, both of these winners. Next would be, I would choose the cookie dough one. Um, I would totally skip the butter pecan one. I won't be buying this one again. Um, Obviously, I'm gonna go with my top choices. If I'm gonna buy them again, I would just get those two. But you know, maybe this is your jam. Maybe you really like butter pecan and that's your thing. Well, have fun with that, but <laughs> I'd rather have the cookie dough one over this one. I hope you guys liked this quick little taste test review on Rebel Ice Cream. 
Um, this is not a sponsored video. I was not given a coupon or anything for this. I purchased it with my own money. Just wanted to do a review on it because why not, right? Um, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you're not yet subscribed and leave a comment about if you've tried any of these Rebel ice creams, what you thought about them, what your favorite flavor was. I would love to hear your opinions on them. Thank you again for watching and be sure to look out for my next video in which I'm going to compare the Rebel Mint ice cream with another competitor keto brand. And I will be doing blood sugar tests in that video. So stay tuned for that one up and coming. Thank you again and we'll see you in the next one.